vegan leader, legendary world saver. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. Nos programs offer plusieurs langues. Veuillez visiter suprememastertv.com bar oblique schedule. Nuestros programas ofrecen varios idiomas. Visiten suprememastertv.com barra inclinada schedule. Unsere Sendungen bieten viele Sprachen. Gehen Sie auf suprememastertv.com schrägstrich schedule. One school of thought on the origin posits that the Brokpa people may be descendants of troops that were left behind by Alexander the Great. It has been noted that the Brokpa folk songs describe their migration route that ties in with this theory. The Brokpa people, vegans for thousands of years. Watch on to find out more. Swagat means welcome in Hindi, one of the official languages of India, home to the Brokpa people. Inquisitive viewers, Am Konchak, the smiling Brokpa people of Ladakh, India, wish you robust health and inner peace. Welcome to the Brokpa people, vegans for thousands of years. In today's program, we'll journey to the remote mountainous regions of northern India to meet the Brokpa. The Brokpa are a unique indigenous community mostly living in the Ladakh area of India. They are also known as the Brokpa or Dragpa. They refer to themselves as Manaro, which means Aryan. The term Aryan in the ancient Indian language of Sanskrit translates as distinguished or noble and historically refers to a light-skinned people who spoke an Indo-European language. They entered ancient India and influenced the culture, literature, and religion of the locals. The Brokpas have certain distinct characteristics that distinguish them, such as high cheekbones, wide foreheads, sharp noses, fair skin, light-colored eyes, and tall stature. Historians often refer to the Brokpa as Dards. In Sanskrit, the word Dard means people who live on the hillside. One school of thought on their origin posits that the Brokpa people may be descendants of troops that were left behind by Alexander the Great. It has been noted that the Brokpa folk songs describe their migration route that ties in with this theory, and Alexander the Great is believed to have left his troops in Dardistan or modern-day Pakistan. They are then thought to have traveled as nomads before making the Ladakh Valley their home. An interesting story describes three Aryan brothers who ventured to the Ladakh region. The story is written in the historical log of the Brokpas called Dizum Shuzum, which is 2,000 years old. This log describes a large sea spanning the region from Ladakh to Tibet. Three brothers, Galo, Melo, and Dulo, came to Ladakh and while wandering in search of new pasture land, eventually reached the sea. One of the brothers had a grain that had become stuck in his footwear. This grain fell out onto the ground and multiplied into a fertile crop of grains. The three brothers decided to stay on this land and their descendants are the current day Brokpas. The Brokpa population numbers about 2,000 people who reside mainly in four villages, Hanu, Da, Garkon, and Darchiks. They live an active life at a high altitude of 4,500 meters. The green pastures of this region are very fertile. This allows the community to be largely self-sufficient by growing a variety of crops, including barley, their staple food, which is quite nutritious. Vegetables such as potatoes, turnips, lettuce, cauliflower, and spring onion are raised. They also grow walnuts, almonds, and apricots. There are many farmers, both women and men, who work in groups cultivating their crops and sing as they toil to maintain their energy. Once harvested, the barley is roasted and cooked. Their meals are mostly made up of barley, other grains and vegetables. Bread or roti is baked in an earthen oven. For somewhere between 2,000 and 5,000 years, the Brokpa maintained a strict vegan diet, meaning they excluded animal products, including meat, eggs, and dairy. 
This age-old way of eating is tied to their traditional spiritual beliefs that the world is divided into three different spheres, including a realm of gods, a realm of people, and a lower realm consisting of water spirits. The Brokpa belief is that these worlds are connected by a tree that makes communication between them possible. In order to link with the realm of the gods, there is an emphasis on purity. This is where avoiding pollution in the form of animal products ties in because traditionally the Brokpa have only eaten food that comes from the ground, which is why their food was vegan. Unfortunately, this vegan way of life has shifted in recent generations due to climate change, and they now consume animal products. The changes in weather have resulted in longer summers and warmer winters that have affected their crops and land. Global warming has also impacted the yield of crops due to lingering insects. In particular, barley and potatoes don't grow very well in certain temperatures. This sad turn of events has also led to the brook buzz consuming more fruits and fewer carbohydrates in their diets. It has further been observed that the visiting tourists have had some effect on various elements of their culture, including their diet. We will pause to enjoy some delicious vegan food, just like many generations of Brokma have done in the past. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television. Vegan Leader, Beacon of Love for the World. Welcome back to the Brokpa people, vegans for thousands of years, where we continue to explore the rich culture of the Brokpa of Ladakh, India. Brokpa women are respected and honored. This is because women have the power of producing life and carrying on the bloodline of the community. As a result of this, they enjoy freedom and mutual respect within their families and villages. During the Bono Na festival, the women dress up in their finest clothing and walk around slowly in a circle performing a courtship dance, at the same time singing folk songs and calling out to the men to join them. The women also propose marriage. Marriage is considered to be an important institution within society. Hymns are sung in the Brokpa language at celebrations such as weddings. The songs and rituals have been passed down from generation to generation in an oral fashion as they are not written down. Preserving their culture and traditions has been of utmost importance to the Brokpa, who have preserved their customs by only allowing marriage within the group. A distinguishing feature of the Brokpa is their love of flowers. Flowers along with mountains, trees, and water are perceived as being pure and auspicious, with each household growing them. The colorful headgear called tepi has numerous decorations attached and is adorned with vibrant flowers. Wearing tepi is considered a way to repel evil influences. The women also wear gold, silver, and other metal jewelry, which are not only decorative, but also are believed to have protective qualities. It's thought that wearing metal on one's body has the ability to ward off sickness. This jewelry is mostly handed down in the family for generations. Old metal coins are also stitched in rows onto the headdress along with different colored ribbons. It is believed that the seven colored ribbons offer protection against illnesses caused by cosmic elements such as the sun or an eclipse, and silver brooches are also worn to protect against negative influences from the planets. The community members also rely on herbal medicine in order to cure their sick. They use different methods of treatment which may be more or less popular in certain villages including herbal medicine, ritual care, Tibetan Amchi medicine which assesses and seeks to balance the energies within the body and the condition of the internal organs, western medicine, home remedies, and shamanic healing. Of special significance is juniper, 
as it is believed to clean the atmosphere of negative vibrations. The burning of juniper incense is done extensively to purify the atmosphere in and around their homes. There is also a juniper shrine or Chilegi Duha in the pasture area near the Daha stream that the people worship. This large juniper tree stands adorned with prayer flags. Loving viewers, it's been a pleasure to have you with us as we explored the unique lifestyle and culture of the Brokpa and their vegan heritage. Coming up next is Shining World Compassion Award recipient Renata Singer, vegan, helping the disadvantaged, right after noteworthy news, here on Supreme Master Television. May the light of the indigenous people spark our inspiration to be closer to nature and live more simply and happily. Vegan Leader Superior World Class. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule and suprememastertv.com forward slash CTAW.